we don't finish that crucible soon, there won't be a galaxy left to save. Commander? Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. Some prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard, I'm going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. And my core programming should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. Commander? So the Reapers did not fully exterminate their creators. That suggests they are fallible, even on large or long-term scales. How's the ship running, Edie? I am updating the Cyber Warfare Suite around our Reaper IFF. It should resemble Reaper code exactly. Commander? Commander? I've been thinking about what we learned, Shepard. The thing is... I don't really care what the Reapers are, or where they're from. They're monsters that need to be put down. That's all I need to know. Hey there. Commander. Shepard, I looked over your mission report. Gotta say, it feels like we've been after these Reapers forever. From Sovereign to Leviathan, they've been a pain in the ass the whole time. But at least we're starting to see the big picture. Never really thought we'd get any answers. It doesn't change much, but it does make this war feel a whole lot bigger. Another time, maybe. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. Shepard, I heard about you and Samantha. 
Liara, I... Be with whoever you want to be with. I'm just not interested in playing games anymore. Really, I don't believe either of us has the time. I've got quite a bit to coordinate with my agents. If you want to talk, it has to be later. I'm occupied, Shepard. I'm occupied, Shepard. Enjoy your day. Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the human female are joined. You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? If I had something like this... I'll see an Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive... That would be worth the pain. Before the Reapers, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale. The Ice Canals of Judah IV. The Palisades of the Verrom Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we were extinguished. We fought back. I... You okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. I was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. Sorry. I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That... must have been... It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. I have studied your human religions, Commander. Your devil and his fall. Leviathan and its kind deserve the same fate. They once unleashed a plague that has haunted all of our history to this day. I say their own hell is the abyss you found them in. One I hope they never escape from. It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. 
The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish, century upon century, letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces, and we are their prey. Your Liara Asari asks many questions. You would think she'd never seen a Prothean before. Can't say I was happy sending you down in that submersible by yourself. Don't know why I ever worry about you. Take on ancient aliens from the deep? Sure, no problem. Everything okay, Shepard? With the Leviathan on our side, maybe we pull this thing off after all. Maybe, James. Too bad Anne never got to see her dad's work pay off. Parts of Tachunka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. 